The world is obsessed with new things. Technology has made it so people don't have to do as much work. For example, writing or typing to someone instead of writing a letter. People are also playing more games on their electronics and spending less time playing board games. People like new things because they are getting better and better in people's minds. People want new iPhones, new and more comfortable clothes, new cars and shoes or computers. We always think of the phrase out with the old and in with the new, but I want you to start thinking of out with the new and in with the old. Traditions are the old that should be kept. Rita Craig says that traditions touch us, connect us, and they expand us. Tive says without our traditions, our lives would be as shaky as a fiddle on the roof. Traditions make me feel responsible. They make me remember. They make me happy because you get to repeat everything. When you do a tradition, you get to remember how it all started. My first tradition that I'm going to be talking about is the reindeer food. When I was in pre-K, I made reindeer food with oatmeal and glitter. I would throw it off my deck every year, and when I did, the day I, rem I made it, one Christmas Eve, my brother didn't have any reindeer food. So my mom got marshmallows for my brother to throw off the deck. When I looked over to see what was happening, I saw him checking them off like a magnet. Of course, we were both young, but the story still makes me laugh. That reindeer food is so important that they can eat while Santa gives us presents and a sense of that. My second tradition I love is my Christmas tree tradition. Every year I get my Christmas tree from Emerlyn Ice Cream and uh, get a milkshake too. We first we drive to Emerlyn Ice Cream and pick out a tree that looks good and tall. Then we go to the counter to buy it. Next we take it to the people that attach it to the car with string. Finally my parents let me get a milkshake of my flavor and we leave and set up the tree at my house. We then decorate the tree with ornaments and the star for the top. We always do it every year and get an ornament from Emily's ice cream and it never gets old. Besides holidays, my family also has dinner traditions. Every few weeks, my family has a big dinner with lots of food. We also eat at our dining room table together. To start the dinner, about a few hours before, my mom starts preparing the dinner because it sometimes takes hours to make the food. My dad starts growing about one hour before the dinner to make chicken and other meats. Then my mom sets up the table with plates, utensils, and salt and pepper. We then all sit down, joke around, and eat dinner together as a family. Then, after we put all the dinner supplies away, they go to bed. It's, it is very, very important that family stays together because we need family to survive. Another tradition is when my family goes on vacation, usually to the beach or a theme park. A few years ago, my family went to Ocean City and we did so many things. Some of those things are beach, boardwalk, and theme park. When we were at the beach, we got to ride jet skis around, and before that, someone found a horse crap and it looked like a stingray. And when we were at the theme park, we got to ride rides for four hours. The boardwalk was crowded with restaurants and interesting exhibits. That is why I loved my, that trip to Ocean City. My family goes to many places and I love going on vacation. My final tradition is a simple one. Most weekends, we enter a red box movie to watch at my house. Usually we have to agree on a movie, but sometimes we can each pick out a movie to watch. I usually pick out Disney movies such as Frozen 2. And my brother usually picks out horror movies like Annabelle. But one thing I know is that I enjoy watching movies with my family. And sometimes my dad makes delicious popcorn that has butter and salt. I love being with my family and being together. Traditions hold us, hold my family together. They can be beautiful memories. They remind us of what is actually important. Next time you are obsessing over something new, think about the old, as I like to say, 
out with the new and in with the old.